Okay, so uh, this is the second video talking about the chord chart. And we did one already where it talks about the first top section of it. Um, and the top section is just your, uh, your usual six most common chords in the major scale. And now we're talking about what kind of rules you can break and what chords can throw in a little more depth um, to your chord progressions and the overall like flow of your song. So there's four that I use a lot, or not a lot, but when I go out of bounds on the major scale, this is usually where I go. Um, and it's kind of a lot to take in, so we're gonna break down two videos. So this video, I'm just gonna talk about um, two chords that I have happy little nicknames for here. One of, them, one of them is called the big two, and one of them is called the big three. And the reason I'm called them big is because uh, traditionally Roman numerals are used to denote chord, chord numbers. And the two chord here, is going from the minor two in the usual scale and now I'm making it a big two. So it's going from a minor chord to a major chord. And by making that chord major, we're going out of bounds to the usual major scale and we're creating a little more spice in the music. Um, so the two chord is like this sort of extra lift. It's kind of like the turbo jet on the side that you didn't know was there and it can give you like one more little place to go. Um, and it just, you just take the second chord of any, of any scale and uh, make it major instead of minor. And it sounds great with the seven on it. So if I was in the key of A, I would take a B minor, make it major, maybe add a seven. And uh, you can also play B7 here. Um, so I do this in one song uh, on TPC Pigs and we're all hanging out down on F sharp minor, which is in the key of A. Got a sweet riff going. I work. Oh wait, that's not the note. I work, I work so hard. I made my mark. I'm kept in the dark. And that's the big two. While the pigs get paid. And what's great about that is it creates this like lift, you know? It's very different than if I went. Uh, it's kind of this big lift and because the B chord, when you, make this, when you make this chord major, the note that changes is the D, it goes up to an E flat instead. And what's great about that is that the first chord of the chorus in that song um, is a D chord. A D major chord and it means that I'm not harmonically going near the first chord of the chorus and that D note is now not getting used and when it does come in for the chorus it sounds like a, a trap door was opened or it sounds like a new thing is happening some territory that you haven't tread on yet um, so uh, yeah that and like that's kind of why these chords are handy because you can create more space for yourself to do your thing in um, and, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pigs and that's the big two chord. So the other one that's great and I use, uh, less often, I use very sparingly is the big three chord. And it's the same idea. The three chord in any, in any key is minor, but if you make it major, the Roman numerals, they grow up and they're big Roman numerals. And then I call it the big three chord. So, uh, it's, uh, sort of got this really tense leading tone that wants to take you back to a minor chord. So if I was in the key of E and I made the third chord major, maybe I put a seven on that too. I got a G sharp seven and uh, that takes me home really nicely to the minor chord in E, the six minor. Uh, and I think the switch of those two chords sounds really familiar and it kind of reminds me of like, yeah, cowboy stuff or any Spanish kind of flamenco-y thing. Um, so yeah, this is like also kind of the cowboy chord. Like you can kind of imagine like a duel is about to happen. Um, but I use it, it's kind of handy. I use it in um, uh, Heartbeat Blues and uh, I've got this chorus and that song that goes like, um, uh, and I wonder if they hear my heartbeat blues. 
ah, yeah. And at the end of the song, the chorus is repeating and kind of tumbling over. And I wonder if they hear my heartbeat blues. Oh, I, yeah, I wonder if they hear my heartbeat blues. Oh. And bringing that chord in at that moment in the song, it's like we've heard the song, we've heard the verse, we've heard the bridge, we've heard the chorus three times. It's a great time to throw in some new harmonic uh, spice and uh, it creates a new bit of tension right before the song ends. And uh, I really like using that chord there. So uh, yeah, that's the, that's the three, the big three in that, in that song. And again, like, like I was saying about the other keys is that you can just move these across any key you like. Like there's nothing intrinsically special about that G sharp, but it's the fact that it's the third chord of the key and its relationship to what's going on around it. So I could jump into any key and do the same thing. Like I could be like, uh, uh, and I wonder if they hear my heartbeat blues. Oh, I, yeah, I wonder if they hear my heartbeat blues. Oh, and get the same effect. So. Anyways, there you go. That's the big two, the big three in the bottom part of the chord chart. And uh, come back and we'll talk about the rest of it.